One of the issues that I'm always astounded by is that students, when they get thrown into a science class, start to really have difficulties with some fairly simple concepts. I want to start talking about the internal compartments of cells, but before I do that, I want to talk about the medieval times. In fact, uh, Mr. Ford is a bit of a geek, and Mr. Ford loves to go to the Renaissance Festival. In fact, when I lived in Texas, they had this amazing Renaissance Festival in, in Plantersville, Texas, and this thing is amazing. We always wind up going, and yes, we always wind up dressing for the event. But when we go to the Renaissance Festival, we go and the entire festival is surrounded by a wall. And then we go and there's a person and they take the tickets and we go inside the portals into the Renaissance Festival. And the minute you walk in, you're transported to a magical time where men were men, women were women, and everybody had a touch of the plague. And you have all these vendors. You have people who are blacksmiths and they're building swords and they're building things out of metal. You have leather workers who build armor and, and wallets and other leather items. You have people who are bakers who are baking bread and other tasty treats. You have people who are um, alchemists and they have their little herbal remedies. So you have a lot of different shops and a lot of different items. Now what does this mean to science? Am I, am I just babbling? Well, maybe a little, but this has everything to do with the cell because the cell is just like the Renaissance Festival. Okay? We have a outside surrounding area. That wall at the Renaissance Festival is to make sure people don't come in without paying. In fact, you have to go through special portals to get into the festival. Just like a cell, we have a cell membrane which keeps things in and keeps things out and allows some stuff to come in and allows some stuff to go out. Once we're inside the festival, we have different shops. These shops specialize in different functions. Well, inside of a cell, we have things that are there for special functions. These are called organelles. So a cell is basically, and keep this in mind, kind of a Renaissance festival. We have an outside surrounding. Within we have shops that do special functions. There's a lot of open space. And we also have an area where the king and queen hang out. The king and queen run the festival. They are in charge of their kingdom. Well, guess what? In a cell, we have the area where the king and queen hang out, and that is the nucleus. And that is where everything is done. That's where everybody is in charge. So we have a cell membrane, which keeps things in, keeps things out, lets some things in, lets some things out. We have shops, specialty shops within the cell. These are called organelles. And we have a place specially centered that's the control center, which is where the king and queen live, the nucleus. In the next three videos, we're gonna take a look at breaking the cell further down into the cell membrane, the cytoplasm and materials within the cytoplasm, and the nucleus. In fact, the nucleus is a topic for our next video.